Hello, everybody. I'm back. Um, as luck would have it, if you uh, just saw the previous video we posted, the Polynerdic unboxing of the new art that you can see some of right down there, um, moments after I finished recording that video, my other package arrived. Uh, so that's fun. Uh, instead of getting to the two, the, do the two videos together, um, I have to do them separately. Um, which sucks because I wanted to unbox those and the these, uh, other thing that just arrived. Um, as you can see, it's new shirts. Uh, I've had a run of um, bad luck with some of my older shirts just falling apart. Uh, it's been a while since I bought any clothing that wasn't work-related, you know, polos and button-downs and stuff like that. So I needed some new T-shirts. I found a sale around Memorial Day. But it was one of those places that they take the order, and then once the run is done, they send them out. Uh, so four of the five shirts I ordered have arrived, and uh, we're going to take a look at them together, if you don't mind. Uh, I like unboxing stuff. Uh, I'm not on the level where you know people send me things, uh, like a Giant Bomb kind of kind of level. Obviously, I'm not on Giant Bomb's level. So I don't get to do unboxings or anything like that. Um, maybe one day. Uh but here's the package. It's this ridiculous um, envelope just stuffed with shirts. So let's pull these out and take a look at them together. I haven't seen them yet. Like I said, there's four of the five I picked up. Um, no surprise, they're going to be dorky shirts. Um, oh, they gave me a candy. That's funny. I'm diabetic. I can't have sugar. They also gave me this cool sticker, this little fella here. If I had a, there's the name of the company, if you're curious, Once Upon a Tea. Um, that's where I bought the shirts from. A lot of these shirts on, on their site, I noticed, um, you can also get displays of. Uh, so there's some overlap between the two. Um, shirt quality is all right. It's not the softest shirt, but, you know, it does need washed. Um, this first one, uh, one of my all-time favorite games is Final Fantasy VII. Uh, we just finished a playthrough of the remake um, not that long ago, actually, beginning of May. And uh, so when I saw this, I had to get it because, not that this makes me in any way original, uh, one of my favorite paintings is Starry Night. So here we have, i could get it in shot here, a Final Fantasy VII take on Starry Night. Cloud looking at the Shinra building with Starry Night going on, and then you've got the meteor up in the sky. That is also the the typical logo of Final Fantasy VII. Love that shirt. Had to get it. These need laundry. You know how sometimes um, new shirts have that really uh, funky alcohol type smell to them. Okay, this is another take on Starry Night. If you uh, know me at all, you know I I love despite having never read a, a, a word of his work, I love Lovecraftian horror, right? And since Lovecraftian stuff deals with cosmic horror, things out of the, the deepest reaches of space, elder gods and all that stuff, I couldn't pass up this shirt also. Look at that. Starry Night Cthulhu. Bad ass. Cannot wait to wear that one. Also, um... I, like any good nerd, am a Zelda fan. So when I saw this one, I just had to get it. I don't have any Zelda shirts. So I like that design a whole lot. Get the Triforce in there, the, the Master Sword. Just ah, beautiful shirt. Had to go with that. And this last one, uh, this one kind of goes with uh, some art that I have. Uh, I bought almost three years ago now. Two years. Two years ago, yeah. Two years ago, I went to a comic book convention here in Cincinnati, and I bought uh, a trio of pieces that I have yet to display. Uh, once I get my own studio space, they're fucking going up on the wall. Um, I bought a Spider-Man, Venom, and Carnage piece. You know, the three three art pieces that go real well together. They're not the, the Carnage and Venom go together better than the Spider-Man, but collectively, I think they're 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 all from the same artist. Uh, so I saw this shirt, had to get it. The mixture of Spider-Man, Venom, and Carnage. 
Like, it's just a beautiful shirt, in my opinion. So, and then I have one more coming. Um, it hasn't shipped yet. So when it arrives, uh, I probably won't do an unboxing for a single shirt because that's just silly. Uh, but I will um, wear it on streams. You'll see it and you'll know it when you see it. Um, especially, I don't want to say what it is. I, I, wanna, I want it to be a surprise. Um, thank you for watching another unboxing video. I'm sorry I couldn't do these and the displays together. Uh, just the way the mail ran. Mail ran late today. Normally we have our postal service delivery at like 9 in the morning. Um, DHL beat the post office here by several hours. Um, but thank you for watching. Another unboxing. I love doing the unboxing stuff. I just don't get to do it that often. Um, it, uh, it's always a fun thing to do, to, to get a new thing. It's like, it's like Christmas or your birthday. You know, Even though you bought it and you know what it is, it's still fun to open. Um, I guess that's the consumer in me speaking. Um, thank you for watching, though. And make sure you uh, take a look at polynerdic.com. That's where you get all our social links, all our not all our videos, but a lot of our videos. The stuff that's clipped and goes to YouTube generally shows up on polynerdic.com. Obviously, uh, follow, subscribe on YouTube, as well as on Twitch. Twitch for the live streams, YouTube for the the clips and the occasional long play. Um, we're on Reddit now, not as a subreddit, but we do have a Reddit profile, Polynerdic there. Eventually, once we get to 30 days and have enough karma, we will create a Polynerdic subreddit. Uh, because as you know, I have discussed it repeatedly, this is all about building a community. Everything I do here is intended as a step towards building a positive nerd life and culture community because the world is a toxic place and that oftentimes infects the the nerdy communities you get a lot of negativity in the the nerd fandoms of the world and stuff and i don't want that here like you could you can have legitimate gripes and we can discuss what's wrong with things but i want a more positive community out of polynerdic so that's what we're shooting for reddit's a step towards that the website's a step towards that. Discord is definitely a step towards that. Um, we're also on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, all polynerdic on those. And if you have it in your heart that you, you want to throw a couple bucks our way, I'm not begging, but it is worth mentioning that we have a Patreon and a coffee. You can find those links, all of them, social media and uh, financial support stuff on polynerdic.com. You can also find ways to reach us talk to us directly and we have a podcast that goes up every saturday morning uh, called the ordinary podcast thank you for your time thank you for viewing me opening up a bag of shirts um thank you for watching the display unboxing that happened before this one uh, again i'm sorry i couldn't do them together but uh it's just the way things worked out i will see you next time here on polynerdic uh, whether it's a live stream, a video thing, a movie on Thursdays, because we do viewing parties every Thursday night at, at 8. Um, I'll see you around.